hello all welcome to my channel uh, so last class we discussed about uh, how to create the project and how to write java program right so today we are going to start the actual uh, java coding so for this entire coding series so what is the website i'm going to follow is uh, i just go to google i show you that uh, you can just type something called coding batch yeah there is a website called codingbat.com let me open this yeah, this is one codingbad.com website. So you can practice coding. Uh, I found this is uh, the initial website where you can start up with your coding. Uh, but here we have uh, two languages, Java and Python. Okay, uh, for Java, and let's see the Python. So Python, you have some set of questions, very few. For Java, you have a lot of questions. So in this, they given a proper uh, way, like a warm up one, warm up two, uh, string one arrays and some logics and next level of the medium string problems the hard string problems uh, arrays also hard problems and uh, some recursion and some functions and map uh, so many things uh, i found this is the best website uh, where you can start with the first programming okay so even my plan is i'm gonna go through uh, each and every question of uh, this entire website on the whole series of uh, uh, Java coding. So I just explain uh, how this question works. So first of all, I show you one. See, here they given a proper way because in real time, uh, if you go for any coding interview in the company, they always give you this type of uh, you know questions. Uh, they'll give you one paragraph and they'll give you uh, some. Uh, testing questions I mean test cases so you have to write the logic and you have to test your test cases and is that working the your logic is working as expected okay you have to verify that okay and here the best thing is in the warm-up one most of the programs they're given a solution and for some programs you are not given a solution uh, anyway uh, I'm gonna find out the solution and I just tell you uh, what's the solution for that even you can do the even the best solution for that same problem okay uh, so that's what about this website and who developed this website is there's a person called uh, uh, nick let me open this yeah yeah this is the person who developed this website and he's a lecturer he's a senior lecturer in stanford university of Computer department and he made some coding practice for his uh, uh, students okay so even we can practice the same questions uh, uh, on this okay so now let's start with this so before you start with this already we created the java project <coughs> yeah so we already created the java project like example dot java something uh, now so first of all what you do is yeah so we already created the java project uh, so first of all you're going to start with this programming you have to create an account in this particular website so how to create an account is so when you go to this codingbat.com slash java so here there is a link to create an account i already have it i just create an account for uh, for this particular batch so let me just create an account so I just use some other mail ID. Let me just try something called uh, mine is something UI brains dot my name at gmail.com and I just try something called some password. Create account. Yeah. Save it. Yeah. So one account is created. Okay. So now let's start with the programs. So first of all, I'm gonna start with the warm up one in the Java. Okay. So if we just click on the warm up one, and there are a lot of questions here. Now let's start with the first question: sleep in. Okay. Uh, so here is the question. Here is the test cases, and you have to write logic here. Uh, actually, how? I mean, why we have set up this Java programming? Uh, this environment is the Eclipse is. Uh, it will be easier for you to write some programs like uh, uh, instead of you just type it it's not automatic uh, what do you call the coding assistance will not come over here okay so for that reason you can just take out this function and write down here and you get some automatic uh, 
the names and coding assistance. So that will be very easy for you uh, to write the program very faster. Okay. So now uh, let's create a program. Let's create a Java program for entire warm up one. So I'll do one thing. Go to my UI brains. I delete this Java. I want to create a new Java program. Okay, so how to create is let me select UI brains right click new class. So I'm gonna create warm up underscore one. Okay, so public static void main you must select this and click on finish. Okay, I got this. Just double click on this icon, I mean it it maximize. Uh, and one more thing I want to show you uh, first time you know the font will be very less okay it's like this uh, you can't even uh, see what is the program uh, you want to make increase the font size you can do control plus plus so just press the control and click on plus plus it keep increases the font how much it is you can just keep it and you just say control minus minus for degrees okay this is a shortcut okay fine so now let's start with the first program uh, so here watch let me just zoom it See the program is they given some program paragraph. Uh, let me read it. The parameter weekday is true if it is weekday, and the parameter vacation is true if you are on vacation. Uh, what they're saying is in this particular uh, method, there are two parameters weekday and vacation. So they are saying like weekday is true if it is a weekday, parameter vacation is true if we are on vacation okay and we sleep in if it is not a weekday or we are on vacation so written true if we are in sleep in so the question is written true if we are in sleep in so when we sleep in see here is the answer we sleep in if it is not a weekday or we are on vacation so not a weekday or we are on vacation so I think you understood this not a weekday or we are on vacation. So let me just uh, do this. Don't type here. Simply copy this particular method back to your program paste. Yeah, here you write logic. What is this is what the question is not a weekday or we are on vacation. So we can write like if not a weekday not a weekday means you can write a exclamation symbol weekday. Uh, you don't need to type the complete word. Let's say control space. If you do control space, you get the hint. Okay. So any hint you want, just do uh, a shortcut call control space. Okay. Not a weekday. See, it's not a weekday or we are on vacation. So or or symbol. So let's make the R. Okay. We are on vacation. So they said vacation is true. We are on vacation. So it's just vacation. Okay. So don't type the complete thing. Control space. Yes, so let's say return true. Okay, so else return false. That's it. Okay, so if it is not a weekday or vacation, return true, otherwise false. Let me just copy this. Copy this and back to uh, this one. Let me just paste it here and then click on go. So it is running all the test cases and all the test cases has been passed. It means your logic is correct. Okay, so that's how you can uh, do a practice. And one more thing here is uh, for every kind of question, not only one solution, there can be a number of solutions because uh, if I give a same problem for multiple people, multiple students, so they'll do, they just come up with a solution different, different ways, right? But which is the optimized solution and which is the perfect solution is the person who writes the correct solution and with less number of lines. So you must not only concentrate on the what you call the correct logic, you also concentrate on how to minimize the number of lines. So what I mean to say is minimize the number of lines is not uh, like a, you know compression like this. Uh, you must not do like this. Uh, you have to try to convert this like a single line. I mean uh, less number of lines. Optimize. Okay. I even tell you how to reduce the number of lines. Optimize code. Uh, okay, so we made a correct logic. That's fine. Now let's rethink about this. 
see what is this logic see if not a weekday or vacation written true else written false that's okay fine let's just re just rethink about if not a weekday or vacation it means if this condition is true written true if the condition is false written false so you are returning the condition itself right if the condition is true written true if the condition is false written false so ultimately you are written the condition itself so my shortcut here is you can just directly write written okay so we don't need these many lines yeah now let's think about this written not a weekday or vacation if this is true written true if it is false written false as it is right so you can even get rid of these brackets okay so single line answer now let me test this so let me just simply copy this back to the website and let me paste it and then go you get all correct so uh, what my uh, advice is try to find out the solution first and then try to optimize that okay so that's it guys for this video and next video we'll see the next questions right thank you so much and keep coding thank you